everyone, welcome to another unboxing. Today we'll be unboxing two parcels from the shop called dinghanda.ph. This is from Shopee and it's important to note that since I've started my journey with the Samsung Gear, starting with Samsung Gear S2, Gear S3, and Gear S4, I've been buying straps from this particular shop. So let's go ahead and open the parcels. The reason why I keep on coming back to the shop is because they offer the lowest price and also they ship on time. They've never failed me so far, although there was quite a delay in one of the two parcels because they said that the parcel got returned from the China warehouse. Okay, so I got different colored straps and it's important when you order that you can only check out 20 straps at a time so keep that in mind when you order so try to limit it to what you think is what you're going to use throughout your s2 journey and these straps are available only at 79 pesos I also got metal straps and watch faces since uh, the Gear S2 is very unique. It doesn't require the tempered glass because they don't have a bezel so it covers the watch face as well. We'll open that later. And I also ordered some metal Melanie straps although I wasn't expecting it to be matte. I was expecting it to be shiny. Another watch face. Okay, this is similar to the watch band that I use for my Gear S4 Frontier. This one I like. And of course, we need to get a transparent watch face. We'll get into detail with the prices later. And I also got Periwinkle Blue. Let's check the other parcel for content. I also got a black one for the watch face. I got a mint metal band, but again, I was expecting this to be shiny. It came out matte. Black one is metallic, that's fine. I actually like metallic better than matte. And I ordered the yellow gold and the champagne gold and of course you need your silver to bling that up when you go to meetings or like special occasions which require you to dress up but other than that if you're just working out I would recommend the silicone straps for you okay so let's check what else is there my silver watch face and my bronze watch face okay so let's go into the detail with the price um, the watch faces that you can see are priced differently from the transparent ones the colored ones such as the teal one and the pink one and all of these that are metallic except for the transparent one they're all priced at 85 pesos while the transparent protector over there is priced at only 63 pesos. Now for the silicone straps, they're all priced at 79. And then for the metal straps, those are the ones that are a bit more hefty when it comes to price. And the price is at 189 pesos. But I'm not complaining because I used to come from a Gear S4, as you can see here. So that's a 40 this is a 44 millimeter aluminum active 2 and this is my Gear S4 just for you to see the difference between the size of the bands let's go ahead and open these up all of these are 
already on quick release pins so you don't have to worry however when you order the metallic ones you do have to manually place the pins so the pin is included but make sure that you don't lose the pins or you can order them individually and the price would range from 30 to 35 pesos So you don't have to worry if you lose them. There's your quick release pin for you to see the difference. The Gear S4 band is, of course, wider because it's 22 millimeter. There you go. Let's do it on the real unit. So again, you don't need the tempered glass anymore once you pop in the watch face. And that's the good thing about it. So it saves you roughly 59 pesos. <laughs> Let's try the teal one. It's very nice, as you can see. It's clear on the inside, but it has the the mark, the tactile, the tactile print. Just like in the original Samsung, the free Samsung cases that come with the phone. Let's try to pop it in. Okay, great. It fits perfectly. I love it. Alright, let's put these on. Now, let's just put this down. And how we'll do it is first, you need to determine which one goes where. Do you want do you want the flap facing you or do you want it facing the other way? For me, I often place it towards me. So that's how it should look like, right? Now, we need to get the quick release pins and place them. So again, the flap or the lock is facing towards me. And this is your home key, your back key. So the home key is facing towards you. So we'll do it with this end first where the flap is not there. There. Once you hear it snap, just tug it very lightly just so you know that it's safe and secure. Now let's do the other one. Let's get the quick release pin. And pop it in. Obviously since this is a 20 millimeter band, the quick release pin for the Gear S4 won't work because that's on 22 millimeters. Again, you don't have to worry if you lose the pins. You just need to order it separately. In my case, I've, I've ordered it previously, so I don't really need it. Also, I bought a lot of metal bands. And you can only really use one metal band at a time. Okay. There you go. There. It snapped. Let's tug it. Of course, remove the plastics. There's another plastic inside, but it doesn't really bother me, so I'll just let it stay. Let's put it in. And there you go. That's my unicorn watch. <laughs> or my mermaid watch. And of course, you can change your watch faces according to your mood. The only funny thing about this watch coming from the Gear S4 is that I don't have a bezel. And I'm used to using the bezel particularly for changing, for, for browsing themes and also for quickly trying to go through my settings. But it's just a minor adjustment. Overall, I'm happy with... The straps that we got today from dinghanda.ph 
if you have time and if you have any gear or even an iWatch or a Huawei watch or a Xiaomi band, they offer everything. So I highly recommend this shop and I've been purchasing from them for years. If you have a smartwatch, try to check them out. So that's all for today. Peace.